Embossed holograms. Yeah, we can talk about embossed holograms. First, let's recap what we've already kind of put out there. We got DCG holograms, which I have to make on glass. It's with our hand fabricated film. But you get a really good dynamic playback and really, really bright holograms that way. Then we have photopolymers. Photopolymers are a little bit different. They are, they tend to be a little bit more uh, monochromatic in the recording and um, they're also thinner. They're on like a, like a flexible stuff. Now lucky for demonstration, I just got a bunch of embossed holograms in the mail last week. Embossed holograms are going to look a little bit different. You've probably seen them, right? They look like this, rainbowy, but they do you still have depth, right? If you do look at them, they've got depth to them. You can kind of see what's going around. I picked up this uh, series of the Superman um, series, and you can see these are 3D models. These are physical models that they capture, right? Right? And they do have a little bit of a depth, right? A little bit of a playback, like a foreground, background kind of thing. Um... They're really pretty. Now the way they're made is a little bit different than how I make the rest of my work, but similar because the capturing method is the same. We're still gonna be capturing the interference pattern of the physical object uh, against a blank reference beam to get our interference fringes recorded into what's called a photoresist. It's a different type of film that you need to use to create the masters for embossed holograms holograms so um you might have mentioned hear me mention masters here and there but masters are basically just like your first copy in which you plan on making reproductions off of it taking pulls off of it effectively to create more of the same uh item and with the other holograms it's a photo process but the thing is with the photo resist is that a photo resist plate is actually going to record a little bit differently. It's actually going to create physical peaks and valleys, much like the grooves on a record player, um, that are going to tell the light how to bounce. It's gonna take that same interference information from the original hologram, and then it's gonna transfer it to a photoresist plate, which will preserve some of that depth, as you saw in the demonstration, um, as well as uh, create, like I said, that microscopic mountain range of refractive surfaces what they do with that is that they take the photoresist and then they grow a nickel shim uh, with uh, electroplating methods on top of the photoresist plate. They peel it off and now you've got this metal shim. You put that on a drum and then you could basically put mylar through a printing press, a big heat printing press, and it's gonna take that microscopic fringe pattern and it's going to uh, press it with heat and pressure into the mylar. And then you've got reproduced embossed holograms.